We're going to look at finding the x-intercepts of the cubic function. Um, it follows the same process as any other algebraic function that we express. If we want to find the x-intercepts, we simply make the y value equal to 0. So if you see over here, when we find the x-intercepts, these are these ones that occur on the x-axis. And the x-axis corresponds to the line y equals 0. So if we're working with the line y equal to 0, then all we need to do is we need to make y equal to 0 and solve for the x value. So I'm going to do it with these two over here. The ones in blue are the very, very simple ones, right? And why are these ones easy? I want you to notice the pattern where you see there's an x and there's an x. There's an x, there's an x, there's an x. So there's an x in every term. And the moment you see that, it becomes very, very simple because it's first a common factor. So x cubed plus 6x squared. Let's do the first one. y is equal to, oops, x cubed plus 6x squared. Now remember to solve this. If we are solving for the x-intercepts, we want to find the values of x. And we simply equate y to 0. So I'm going to change this y to a 0 value. And then I'm going to say that's x cubed plus 6x squared. Now what we do is we notice that there's an x in every term. So I pull out the common factor. I can pull out the highest degree thereof, which is x squared. x squared times what will give me x cubed? The answer is x. Positive times what will give me that positive? It's positive. And that times what? That's going to be 6. And there we have it is equal to 0. Now from this point onwards, all I need to do is I need to solve. Remember that this is x times by x times by x plus 6. And each of these factors are equated to 0. You should watch the video on the zero product property in the section on quadratic equations, right? Okay, so what's going to happen over here? I now can solve. Either this factor must be 0, or this one is 0, or this entire one over here is 0. And therefore my results are x equals 0, or x equals 0, that's the first one, that's the second one, or x is equal to negative 6. Okay, and if we express this as a set of coordinates, this set of coordinates here is 0 on the y, because we start off with 0 on the y and we solve for x, and this one over here is going to be negative 6 on the x and 0 on the y. This one here occurs twice, so I'm going to put that in our table, 0 and 0 twice, and negative 6 and 0. So this one here, the first intercept is 0 and 0. That occurs twice. And this one over here is going to be negative 6 and 0. Okay, so that is the first example. I'm going to stop there and then I'm going to continue with the second example where we have a common factor and we can easily solve for the value of the x-intercept.